All right, today we're out on the Remora and we're gonna talk about uh, the construction, the design, um, and also the dimensions, the weight, and we'll get the measuring tape out and we'll actually measure everything up so you guys know. A lot of people have also asked me uh, about the size of it for parking and things like that. So we'll, um, yeah, we'll check it all out and give you guys all the info. Talking about the construction of these rigs a little bit, so obviously based off the 445 Payne's hull, um, and we've basically got a pod added to the back of it, which gives it a total length of around 4.9 meters. But the thing you'll notice with these boats is, um, well, they ride better than Haynes, and that's for a few reasons. Obviously, you've got that additional length of the pod, which helps but you've also got weight. So the old 445 hulls came in at around 240 kilos, dry hull weight. And, um, these boats, I think, are clo uh, around 380 or closer to 400 kilos. So there's quite a bit more uh, weight in the hull of these boats. So that weight obviously makes the boat ride, uh, ride better. Obviously, you've got a all composite uh, construction as well so no wood to worry about uh, in the transom or whatever but the main thing you know what does all this mean I guess you have a very soft very nice riding package for its size but just very quiet so the main thing I love about this boat uh, having a full fully foam filled floor is how quiet it is and you won't be able to kind of tell on the camera but I'm just going to put it down here Duck it down here like a bit of an idiot, but I just want to show you guys how quiet this hull is. There's barely any water noise coming through this hull whatsoever. In fact, all you can really hear is the spray on the outside and the engine. This is one of the quietest hulls for its size, if not the quietest hull I think we've ever actually experienced. And it just makes it for such a more pleasurable ride on the water. And you know, they do cut through the chop absolutely beautifully. We're just taking it easy at the moment, but look. That's it, you know, you've got a lot of weight, got a lot of dead rise. Um, obviously, the, the dead rise can impact stability somewhat, but everything is a compromise. And I think in this particular instance, they've got that compromise really spot on. Give it whatever you want to give it. some measurements of the 490 Remora. First thing is going to be 
total length of the hull to the back of the pod. So Peter, if you want to go to where you think it's the back of the pod. Yep, right about there I reckon. So to the end of the bow sprit, I'll tell you what, I reckon we've got you're definitely at the end. Yeah. The longest part. Yeah, I think so. I reckon we've got 4.8 meters here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I reckon that's about four. Yeah, that's about right. Now that's the bow spread. If I were to go to the front of the hull, yeah. I reckon we've got 4.7 meters. All right. Now from let's, the transom. From the transom. Good point. From the transom to the front of the hull, I think you bang on. Yeah, 445, 4.45. Um, funny about that. Funny, isn't that <laughs> funny? All right, let's have a look at the hull sort of height to its deepest point. Um, hull, hull depth to the gunnel. Yeah. I reckon at the deepest point we're about there. Okay, 40. Um, uh, here, 75 to the gunnel. Oh, 75 to the gunnel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. How much above that, about 30? Yeah, it's about a meter. Actually. All right, let's do some width measurements now. So. Beam. We'll go across the boat at roughly midship is probably going to be the, the beamiest bit. All right, so we'll go right to the through the hole, right to the outside of the gunnel, Peter, just to to the outside. I reckon I reckon we've got 2.05 meters on that. Now let's go to the inside. To the inside, we've got 1.5. Four, five. Now, we're not done, ladies and gentlemen. We are not done. We want to get some comprehensive measurements here. Now, I'm going to do across the middle of the floor. Then I'm going to do three board. Three board. Three board is coming next. Okay, it's not 100% straight. 1.76. Three board. We have. 65 centimeters. Let me just go up the front, double check that. We have got up here 67 centimeters. All right, so the last thing there is to check weight. Let's go across the transom. Peter, if you can hold up the top there. Okay. Let's have a look inside 1.5 into the outside, the gunnel. <coughs> outside of the gunnel, 1.9 meters. Now, what haven't we measured? Okay, total length with the engine and the engine wow look that's out a bit farther than you need for pete can you come over here please can you drop it a bit let's do uh can we drop it a bit yeah. let's say yeah. all right if you wanted to garage this boat if you wanted to have your engine down let's do a total length a few people have asked me about that so let's go total length that's at the back of the engine peter yeah Alright, we have got a total length of exactly 6.4 metres, so a bit long to get in your average garage, I'd say. If you had a 7 metre garage, you could probably yep. sneak oh, it in there. Um, I think that probably covers it as far as dimensions go. As mentioned, uh, as I mentioned previously, obviously foam hip field hull around 380 kilos based off the 445. If I was to take a guess at it, I would say that is an exact 445 hull with a pot on the back, but don't uh, quote me on that. I'll probably get myself in trouble, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, this height here really does help a lot, having this, this upper deck extend up so much like that. Um, without that there, you'd have no freeboard to work with, so they've really designed this upper half well. You know, you're adding, you're adding yeah, 300. Anyway, so that's the size of it for those that are interested and uh, stick around for plenty more videos on the uh, the big 490 Remora, or should I call it the 480 Remora? <laughs> Thanks guys.